All right, friends, so today we are making make-ahead Christmas chicken. Everybody always wants to know, what can I make for Christmas? What can I make ahead? You know, a lot of years we've done lasagna. Lasagna is a great one. Even the Costco lasagnas save your life, right? One of the recipes I have up over on largefamilytable.com is a fantastic make-ahead, large family style Christmas Day chicken that I think your family will enjoy. And of course, this make-ahead Christmas Day chicken is great for any time of year. What we are going to do is we are going to get our chicken in my bowl here. Now, if you don't have room in your refrigerator to set this kind of bowl for a day, you can actually let it set airtight. You'll want to wrap it tightly for up to three days. If you don't have a bowl this size or a shelf available, I have my faded refrigerator that came with this house and I've got a whole shelf empty in it so I can put the chicken breasts that are gonna marinate for the day in that refrigerator on that shelf. If you don't have that available, you can use the gallon Ziploc bags. It would be two to four Ziploc bags depending on how much chicken that you're doing. This recipe is for 12 to 16 boneless, skinless chicken breast. So in our bowl, we are gonna do two cups of sour cream, some garlic powder and some paprika, some lemon juice, some Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> and then some salt and pepper. I've already got my lemon juice measured out, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then it's about two teaspoons each of the paprika and the garlic powder, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these in here and then we will whisk it all. Now, this is also a freezer-friendly recipe. You can let it marinate for a day or two, and then you can bag it up and freeze it for up to six months. What you will wanna do is defrost it, and then you're gonna do the cracker topping that I'm gonna show coming up here soon in this video. I put my pepper back in my cabinet, so I'll get that here in a minute. Then we're gonna do about four teaspoons of our sauce here. Okay. And then I'm gonna eyeball about two cups. Now I'm just gonna whisk this up for us and then we will add in our chicken and I'm gonna cover it all. Of course now my ear is itching. And then I'll put it in my refrigerator and tomorrow evening I'll fill with it some more. What I'm actually going to do is I am going to bake this up tomorrow night. We have Daniel's birthday and some family coming over for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the make-ahead Christmas chicken that's good any day of the year for whoever would like it during the party. I got bagel bites and a bunch of fruit for the kids, but I thought some grown-ups or some kids might like the make-ahead Christmas day chicken and also some fruits and veggies that we're gonna have. But for your family, again, you can do this a couple days before Christmas and then on Christmas day, Pull it out, do your cracker topping. Cook it up for Christmas dinner. Use it for New Year's. Use it for Easter. Use it on a Thursday. Also, don't know where I'm gonna hang it yet. This is just as important as Christmas chicken. Huh? I went to an in-store to Tractor Supply a week or so ago. If you look over on my Instagram, you can see I got a light up Christmas goat. And I was like, man, I miss getting those light up chicks, those light up hens and chicks. Should have got those like in October because they're not even available online right now. But I got myself a Christmas goat and I just like this sign. It makes me happy. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna hang it, but it says enjoy the little things. And it's a mama hen and a whole lot of little baby chicks. She's got two, four, six. She's got seven chicks. Could draw a few more chicks on there. I went ahead and got all my chicken in here. It's actually nine pounds of chicken. It ends up being 13 boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can, of course, have them to get more out of it, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna stir this up to coat them all well. 
Then I will cover the top and get them on my one extra refrigerator shelf. And then we'll be back tomorrow and we'll look at them. Now, if things get too busy for me tomorrow, if I'm not able to cook up this chicken, because you know, I make a lot of plans and they don't always go per my list. So you just keep adjusting, keep trying, eventually it all works out. So you may actually see me two to three days from now pulling out this chicken, doing our crumbled cracker topping and baking it up. Might actually be a whole other night dinner, but I'm thinking I could use it at the party. And if not, I can use it this weekend. And you can use it as your make ahead Christmas chicken, if you would like. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I will cover it up. I'll see you back in a day or two when I get back to this chicken and we'll give it another go. And I've actually decided to go to another container with a lid. This chicken is not taking up as much room as I thought it might. So whatever works. Get the lid on, yay. All right, well, three day later confession time. Never got back to the Christmas day chicken. It's been marinating for three days, which that's perfect because there really is the, about the maximum amount of time that you should leave it marinating in your refrigerator. So it should definitely be good and creamy and flavorful. What I am going to do is break up about four sleeves of, these are just the Walmart brand, you know, that knock off Ritz, the buttery rounds for value brand. We need about four sleeves busted up. I know last time several of you said, do it in the sleeve, Jamerell, do it in the sleeve. I forget how I did it. I think I just busted them up with my hands. The reason I don't always do it in the sleeve is I usually end up busting it out the ends or the bag just pops open at me at some point. Now, if I didn't always go for the store brand thing, maybe Ritz crackers wouldn't do that to me. I will do this over a bowl. This is gonna be our topping here in a moment. And yes, I committed to the hat today. We still have snow on the ground and we've been out and about. So once I put a hat on, I don't take it off until I'm done for the day. Girl hair problems. in one of my pans and get to work here. Okay, so here's our Christmas Day chicken marinating for a few days. And let's see here. So it smells good. All that yummy stuff it's been soaking in. Okay. Voila. gonna be messy but it'll be okay. I'm gonna coat both sides. That's a big piece. Another one. Down in the crumbs. Mm-hmm. Down in the 
pan. Again, down in the crumbs. I said several of these could have been divided, but you know, it's okay. Still see me? Okay. take my hand and kind of pile them on top there. Let's see if I can find one more small one to fit in that first pan. Maybe, maybe, there we go. I think I can be a little bossy with this second pan as well. Get this in. So here are both pans. I still have a few more I'm just going to put in a smaller pan. But I'm going to get these in the oven now. So these are going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes uncovered. Of course, the biggest thing we look for is you want the internal temperature of them to reach 165 degrees. Okay, oops, getting ahead of myself here. I forgot to drizzle over. It's half a cup of melted butter and half a cup of olive oil. Oopsie. Just going to drizzle that evenly over the chicken too. And then we, we have about two large chicken breasts left that I will also cook up, but here we go. Voila, fair and square, now into the oven. And then this will be precious. This is like, look, look, it's so cute. What, what, are ours? what is our size? It's a little eight by eight, okay. So, just melted a few more tablespoons of butter. Gonna just eyeball a little bit more oil. I think we've got two large chicken breasts in here. Maybe three. But this was from a big chicken. Mom life, you gotta get the bowl soaking, right? Little bit of crackers will go in my bowl. And 
because, because, because my baby oven is such a little baby oven, I'm gonna switch my pans here. We're about halfway through. Just checked my chicken, not quite there temperature wise yet. So I went ahead and put it on for a few more minutes. Be loud here. Um, I'm doing a bag of frozen peas also from Costco. So I'm going to drain those and then just put them back on the stove with no heat and some butter while we let the chicken finish up. throw some salt and pepper in here. We'll be good. Okay, back to sit. Alrighty, so I just pulled these two pans out. We got our cute little baby pan in here and we're gonna set the table for dinner. Okay, so here's our chicken piled up and we got the hot butter peas. Then down here we got some grapes we're still trying to eat up. They're almost gone. Blackberries, carrots, and some dip and milk. And there you go. That's dinner. All right, friends. So I'm going to link the recipe down in the description below. I got Benjamin spinning a globe. We're going to have dinner, and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.